Hey, what's going on, Kraus here, and today I'm kind of doing like my PAX East 2016 wrap-up kind of thing that I'm that I that I should do. Should have done it like a few days ago, but uh, I've been kind of focusing on CS videos to try to get my stats back up. But I want to talk about some of the games I saw at PAX East, two in particular, and uh, one to kind of branch off of the second one. So the first one is a game that I'm sure everyone has heard about, Lawbreakers. So. Lawbreakers to me kind of feels like a, a combination of a few games. I think two that kind of stand out the most would be Overwatch and Bulletstorm. I, I, I kind of see Bulletstorm like graphics, uh, and not really the gameplay, but the looks like the weapons. It kind of is like Bulletstorm to me and a little bit of Unreal, Unreal Tournament in any. But from what I understand, I think it is made or partially made by Cliff, uh, I can't say, Blazinski. So it would make sense that it kind of has some of that bullet storm feel. And Overwatch is a very popular game. It, even that game type is really popular. It just kind of reminded me of it because of like how it's it's it seems to be fairly fast paced. Now, one thing I do like, I'm just I'm I'm just I'm guessing they're gonna keep it like this. They have no healers in it. There, there's no like like healers that you can come in. They can save your life. It all relies on like you just out shooting, being better. Or just being more tactical, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it, you have to be better than the other person if you want to beat them. You know, you're not going to have a healer there with a beam of light going into your butt to keep you up. Now, the game that I saw at PAX East was like a, I don't, really, I don't know if it was like a capture the flag type of thing, but it was, it wasn't an actual flag. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was like a battery or something, and you took the battery to your spot to charge it up, and so you could like camp it. I think I'm pretty sure. Someone could, if they wanted to, they could grab the battery, go back to theirs, and just kind of turtle at it without ever charging it. So, like, if you just want to, like, farm kills or something like that, get your KD up, if you're facing a noob team, you can just go grab the grab the thing and charge it. So, it didn't have a time uh, time limit. I don't know if they've changed that at all. I haven't uh, looked too much more into the game because I, I don't think, I don't know how public this really is. Uh, you know, new new info updates on the game. And I also just kind of want to cover what I saw at PAX East and not what's like there now. There's also a really cool ability where you can run for while shooting behind you, which is actually really sick. I don't know if I've ever seen a game like that before. So it's awesome to see them doing actually something different, not just a cookie cutter with some different graphics and, you know, different like spells or special abilities they can do. I don't know if everyone can shoot behind their back or if it's just one person. I think it's everyone. There's also a grappling hook, which is really cool. It can help with, I'm assuming you can like kind of swing off the map a little bit, maybe come back up. It could possibly provide some pretty sneaky gameplay, some some flanking, some quick flanking. Uh, you know, if you can dip around, kind of go outside of the map, go around and, you know, get there fairly easily, quickly, maybe stealthy. I don't know how obvious the grappling hook would really be when you, you know, you're focusing on another situation. A lot of cool possibilities, though, that you could do there. There are obvious different classes. I don't 100% know all of the classes, but uh, there's a good mixture of, like, gunners, kind of up close and personal. I think there's maybe some tanky characters. But all in all, it's like, it, it, it seems like a pretty well-balanced game. It doesn't seem like there's any one class that is just going to always dominate another one. So as I'm sure you can gather from the name, sort of, it, it's a cops versus criminals type of thing. Which has definitely like been done before. Like there's always a cops versus criminals in some way. I know in Overwatch it's not really a cops versus criminal or Team Fortress 2 is not very really cops versus criminals. You know, there's Counter-Strike, which is like cops versus criminals. Uh, but in this one, it's a little bit different. This is like a an in the future type of thing. I'm not talking like Call of Duty, you know, I was it's kind of like floating in space. You know, the the gravity's different. It's weird. Uh, I think they blew up the moon, so like the gravity is like really fucky and so there i don't know if there's pockets i i don't remember exactly how it worked but the gravity can is like changed can be changed by the players or if it's randomly like i said i don't remember but it's a really cool like you can literally have lower gravity you can fly around i think there's even a class it's like it's she can like fly around she's like a ninja and she just fucking she's like yo what the fuck is gravity i don't know what that is and she flies around with the, with the blade and she's super sick uh probably gonna be one of my favorite characters although probably not at the same time because i suck like, i always love getting close range but when i get close range I realize like wow i shouldn't be close range i suck at this game probably it's gonna happen whenever the game goes live or you know the alpha whatever i might get into really really fucking looking forward to this game i'm sure if i get into the alpha and as long as i can which i'm i would be surprised if i couldn't there'd be plenty of gameplay on my channel probably as long as of counter-strike assuming i don't get like batman from counter-strike because you guys know how good i am at that but obviously if you guys want more information on lawbreakers be sure to go to their site register for the alpha if you have not already highly suggest you registering for the alpha lawbreakers.com you go there it's very very obvious it's in the top right corner unless it changes by the time you're watching this video top right corner says sign up for alpha highly suggest doing it it's going to be a great game now on to the next game so i'm sure a lot of you are not going to expect me to talk about this one 
It is a game it, for two reasons. One, it's a card game. Two, it's an Elder Scrolls card game. It's called The Elder Scrolls Legend. Now, I'm not a huge fan of card games, but this one looked like it was very well done. And it has a very interesting take. Now, I didn't get the chance to play it, but I was watching uh, for probably about like 20 or so minutes. I was sitting at the Twitch booth, which was right across from this one, and I was staring. I was watching this gameplay, and I, I found myself weirdly, weirdly interested in this. Like, it was weird because, one, I'm not a huge fan of card games in general, and I've never really played any Elder Scrolls game or Skyrim, and it is based around Skyrim, unless they added more. Like I said, I didn't actually play it, but I did want to cover it just because it seemed really cool. I know a lot of people like card games. Me, personally, not my thing because I suck at strategy. Any sort of like strategy kind of thinking games uh, or any just maybe, maybe I just don't like cards. Maybe I have a strong hate for cards right now. now. I did notice something. It seemed like there was two different types or not types. I don't, I don't really, there was like two different boards, I guess, but like that's, there's two different sections of a board. It, it looked like you could put some cards in one side and other cards in the other it didn't look like if you played a card it was out there for everything to hit now it does seem like it's it's how it was in like hearthstone like whenever you do the campaign even though hearthstone has pretty much pvp no one really worries about like pve that's just kind of beginner shit. So it looks like you know it's you versus someone else it's a card game just like that you versus an npc of some sort from skyrim um i don't know if they're gonna add other games i feel like they might just keep it skyrim just because that was like I think that was one of the biggest Elder Scrolls games there was. Um, one thing I am assuming they're going to do is add a PvP feature. If one isn't already in there, I'm pretty sure one actually might already be in there. I would be very, very shocked if they didn't. But this game definitely reminds me more of Magic the Gathering than Hearthstone. Hearthstone, I feel like, is a very um, straightforward, you know what you're doing. Even if you don't know what you're doing, RNG exists, so you, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it's just there. It's very easy to read, as with most Blizzard games. This one does seem like it might take quite a bit of learning. I think if you're better at Magic, it might not take so much learning. But if you're coming from Hearthstone as your first ever card game, this one might take a little bit more to understanding. Or if you've never played a card game, this one might take quite a bit of learning to fully understand. This is, I believe, going to be free to play, so you don't have to worry about buying anything. Although I'm sure, as other card games, it's gonna there, there's probably going to be packs, or you can buy a card separately. But there, uh, there's going to be microtransactions. Let's be real. This game kind of made me start thinking about something else something that possibly the Witcher series could hop onto. The Witcher being made by CD Projekt Red. Uh, now, I know in The Witcher 3, at least, I'm not been so sure on the other ones, uh, I really only watched Witcher 3, but there's a game called Gwent. If you played Witcher 3 or watched Witcher 3, you probably know what Gwent is. It's a, it's a sort of card game with, honestly, I don't even fully understand it, but I was thinking of like, it'd be really, really cool CJ CD project red um and i know this isn't really relating to packs those are the only two games i, I really want to talk about might might touch on a little bit more but it'd be really cool if they made like a multiplayer gwent game that you could like a standalone version once again free to play microtransaction that shit up i feel like card games just run better off of microtransactions it seems like that could be a really cool idea i mean i know once again this has absolutely nothing to do with the packs he's covered i don't even know if cd project was there um but it could be pretty cool you know maybe someone that knows someone that works there give them this idea I want royalties. There's a few other games there. Obviously, Overwatch is there. I don't think I really need to talk about that. Overwatch, great game. Love it. I'm probably going to do some sort of series where I... It's not really like a series. It's just kind of something I want to do. And I play like a game on every single character. Whether I, I've played them before, whether I like them or not. I'm going to do one video on each of them, which I think is like 5, 10, 15, like 18 videos. Is that how many champions there? There's something like that. Regar Actually, I think there's six in each. Anyways, I plan on doing that. There's a Ratchet and Clank booth there, which is like really like after so many years of not playing or really even hearing anything of ratchet and clank i know uh, the game was out before i went to pax east but it was just it was really nostalgic to see a game that i played so much i i tried so hard to beat that game when i was younger and to see it like remastered and redone from like a different perspective it was just like one of it was so fucking cool to me like it just it was if you haven't watched Ratchet and Clank, and if you played it when you were younger, I highly suggest going and watching it Let's Play or playing it again. It just, it, it, it really brings back like those good memories that you had sitting on your PlayStation 2, playing that game, sitting there for hours on end with that big ass projection TV that you thought was huge at the time. And now looking back at it, it wasn't that big of a TV, but God damn, did you love that TV and did you love that game? At least this was for me. I love the Ratchet and Clank game. How old? That's over like 10 years old. That's almost maybe 15 years old. Ooh, brings back some, some good nostalgic memories. Ark was there. I think they were showcasing their survival of the fittest game mode and they had a sick fucking dinosaur you could go and sit on i didn't do it because i didn't i don't know the line seemed to be very very long it was a sick booth the uh, the dinosaur was incredibly incredibly well done like literally looking i was like i'm in a fucking video game it was incredibly well done i think that is i'm all going to talk about that it was terrible english but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed definitely i'm looking forward to most of these games that i listed 
It'd be cool to actually see that Gwent thing that I suggested to maybe some, maybe they're working on it right now. Who knows if it randomly comes out in the next few years, it was my idea. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know how many of you played the Witcher. I didn't play it, but I love watching it. So it's kind of like a weird thing. Like, I don't know. But I think it's watching my PAX East 2016 kind of wrap up talking about some of the games I enjoyed. One of my, some of my favorite games viewing. I, I tried to like pick two totally different games to kind of cover. Lawbreakers is by, took, took the fucking show at PAX East though. God damn, was that good. But thanks for watching guys. Peace. And now here's just some kind of random footage that I got while in Boston. Hanging out with friends. Here it is. What are you doing? I have the box so I don't get, uh, so I can get packs again. It is so, so fucking heavy. Yeah. Hey, dude. Hi. We have buttons here. Why are you using your right, guys? What am I, are fucking some like rich YouTuber that can just and, afford uh, a camera? So this, this, is, this, this is my birthday dinner. These are the people I surrounded myself with. Her, John, her, this guy. You know what his name is? But, yeah, I, imagine I hate vlogging. Hey, we're in New York. There's the White House in New York. There's someone running. They left us. Haters to know. All you haters that you could suck my ass. Bro, what are we doing? These Sucking ass. I'm not a hater. Reach. <laughs> I, I didn't know. My arm hurts. Oh, sorry, baby. Hold on. What is this? Is this really a vlog? Yeah, I'm recording. This is oh, kind of a cute there. angle. Yeah, except like my shit. I like it. Ooh, zaddy, zaddy. Ooh. Uh, day seven of lot of packs. A lot. This is my favorite day. Of packs, it's day seven. It's the most eventful. Most people don't hang around to day seven, but we do. Because My feet are dying. Hardy, hardy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that sound cool when I say party hardy? Mm -hmm. Does it sound like we have a good time? Mm -hmm. Are you still recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> are we partying hardy? Dude, like, alright. Do you remember, remember, like, Adolf Hitler? What? Do you remember Hitler? No. Alright.